There is no doubt that German Shepherds are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. Intelligent, loyal, and quick to learn, these dogs make great companion dogs and guard dogs. However, they also have their fair share of cons, which possibly makes them unsuitable for your home. So, for this video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons the German Shepherd might just be the worst dog breed. German Shepherd is the fourth most popular dog breed in 2021, recognized by the American Kennel Club. These dogs are most often described as all-purpose workers. Aside from being guard dogs, they are also used as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, and guide dogs. And they also make excellent competitors in various canine sports. For this reason, German Shepherds aren't the best choice for everyone. Later, as we go through this video, we'll get to know more about these dogs. Hey there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you're looking for a channel that features dog-related stuff every day, then you're on the right track, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we'll talk about the 8 reasons German Shepherds might just be the worst dog breed. So let's get started right away. Number 1. German Shepherds need an extensive amount of exercise. Depending on your lifestyle, a highly energetic dog, like a German Shepherd, is either a good or a bad quality. If you are a senior citizen, love spending most of your time on the couch, or if you work most times of the day, then this breed is not the best choice for you. On average, an adult German Shepherd needs about two hours of exercise every day, which can be divided into two sessions. This can be in the form of walks, play sessions, or training. So long as you are able to tire them out, they will behave well at home. However, it is also essential to give them a variety of toys at home, such as chew toys and puzzle games, to prevent them from becoming bored. If their exercise needs aren't met, they can become bored, which can lead to the development of destructive behaviors such as excessive barking and whining, chewing and scratching of furniture, and digging. The same is true if you leave them alone for long periods of time and they develop separation anxiety. Number 2. German Shepherds have a high prey drive German Shepherds are excellent hunters, which means that they have a high prey drive. What is a prey drive anyway? It is a dog's natural instinct to chase and catch animals they perceive as prey. Sometimes they may also chase moving objects, such as cars. This prey drive causes dogs to nip humans and other pets in the house. You don't want to reinforce this behavior of your German Shepherd. Therefore, it is important to tame their prey drive through proper training and early socialization. But how do you properly train a dog? If you need a guide on how to do this properly, we recommend Brain Training for Dogs. Brain Training for Dogs uses a training system that took 10 years to perfect. They believe that every dog has a hidden intelligence, which can only be unleashed when proper training techniques are used. Not only their training system encourages good attitude, but it also eliminates bad behaviors, which include aggression, jumping, digging, whining, chewing, excessive barking, impulse control, hyperactivity, ignoring commands, potty training, and so much more, thus helping to create a well-behaved, obedient dog that listens to you well. So, get access now at Brain Training for Dogs by checking out the link in the description below. Number 3. German Shepherds are not an ideal choice for multi-pet households. While it is possible for German Shepherds to warm up and get along with other pets in the house, they are not the best choice if you want a multi-pet household. Again, this is because they have a high prey drive and may see smaller animals such as cats and rabbits as a potential gain. If you have another dog at home, make sure to introduce them gradually to your German Shepherd. And even if they get along well with each other, it is still important to supervise their interaction just so you can be sure that no sudden attacks will happen. Number 4. 
German Shepherds are prone to certain health conditions. In general, German Shepherds are healthy dogs. However, there are still health conditions that you need to look out for if you're considering this breed. Some of the health conditions that the German Shepherd may be prone to are hip and elbow dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, arthritis, epilepsy, bloat which can be life-threatening if not addressed early, and exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. To ensure that your dog lives a long and healthy life, Make sure that he gets regular veterinary checkups once or twice a year. And we're already halfway through this video. How do you feel about German Shepherds so far? Do you think they still fit your home? Let us know your thoughts later on because, for now, we have a few more things to talk about this breed. So, let's continue. Number 5. German Shepherds have high demands in grooming. German Shepherds have a medium-length coat that comes with an inner coat that is soft and wooly and an outer coat that is thin and long. This protects their skin and helps them adapt to various weather conditions. However, these dogs shed all year round. In addition, they shed more heavily twice a year. Typically, brushing them three to four times a week is enough to help lessen the loose fur that sticks onto your clothes and furniture. During shedding season, brushing them more often is needed. Indeed, investing in a high-quality vacuum will be a great help in controlling the fur in your home. That said, if you're an allergy sufferer, then this breed is definitely not for you. The good news about these dogs is that you will only need to bathe them as needed, such as when they rolled into something really stinky and dirty. Number 6. German Shepherds are expensive. The puppy price of a German Shepherd costs around $500 to $1,000 on average. The price can even go as high as $7,000 if you're buying a show quality dog with an exceptional bloodline. However, their price is just the beginning. You will also have to prepare a budget for their maintenance, such as food, toys, and regular trips to the veterinarian. According to experts, these dogs can cost $1,000 to $2,000 a year. Number 7. Early socialization is a must for German Shepherds. Typically, German Shepherds tend to be cautious and nervous towards strangers. This makes them great guard dogs. However, this also means that they are not the most welcoming dogs out there. If you want your German Shepherd to be more accepting of strangers, you have to socialize them while they are still young. Early socialization also helps eliminate their tendency to be unduly aggressive. During puppyhood, expose your dog to various people, sights, sounds, and places so that they gain experiences in various situations. You may also want to invite your friends and neighbors to your home so that your dog gets to know them while they are still young. Basically, the more experience they have, the calmer they will be even when they're in unfamiliar situations or people. Number 8. German Shepherds are prone to separation anxiety. Despite being brave and strong, German Shepherds are sensitive dogs who hate being left alone, especially for long periods of time. They are prone to separation anxiety which can lead to development of destructive behaviors such as excessive barking and whining, digging and scratching and chewing of your furniture. Instead, these dogs are happiest when they are included in all family activities. Make sure that you and your family give him enough attention and love so that they grow to be jolly, respectful and well-mannered dogs. In the end, German Shepherds have their own needs which their owners need to fulfill in order for them to be exceptional dogs. Without proper training and early socialization, they might just be the worst dog you could ever have. But if you are able to handle them well, then you'll gain a dog that is protective, hardworking, and affectionate all at the same time. And there you have it, the 8 reasons why German Shepherds might just be the worst dog breed. After watching this video, do you think that they fit your home? 
why or why not? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.